So has everyone got this? Has everyone sort of logged in and um, can see we video? Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, oh, I just wanted to point out something under my account. Um, there's this tab here called badges on the Cadarm website. Um, if you click on it, you can earn badges if you attend workshops and publish stuff to the website and things like that. There's all these. It's just a sort of nice little thing we've got on the website, so you can, you know, get some badges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you'll get one, yeah. And if you're into badges, I'm kind of thinking about what it's about. You were asked to add this to our website by a new university, so some people really like this and get into it. You can have badges too, you can put them on your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the virtual backpack. <laughs> 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 but you know, once you get, right. get to collect so many badges, I am um, um, a brand. <laughs> Sorry? Um, oh, yeah, I mean, you'll unlock one as you, as you, uh, I think you'll have one automatically unlocked once you've, after this workshop. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've only got one, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so if you want to go back to the, um, uh, my account and the Wii video tab. So, um, so everyone should be everyone should go to Wii video and then just click on Start New Video down here. You can see <coughs> if you've once you've once you've created some videos, you'll see them appear here. Um, well, no, sorry, you'll see them appear here. And if you've finished any videos, you'll see them appear here. Um, so that's an old one I've I've already done. Um, I can download it. Or I can publish it if I want to, but um, to the website. But I'll talk about that later. So, if everyone wants to just click on Start New Video, then the Wii Video interface will load up. So once you're in, on, on, this is the main interface, and, and um, you can click full screen here. So just press Start Editing. Oh yeah, Start Editing. Yeah, sorry. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, and then click Allow if. if um, just so we can see the interface. Um, so this is this is where this is your timeline where you edit. So basically, you can put all your footage here. The timeline it plays from left to right. You've got your video tracks on the top, and your audio tracks on the bottom. It's sort of sort of. I don't know if you can see that very well. And that's where you import your media, and that's where you view your media. So that's where you'll see. That's where you can play your footage back, or you can. You can also, it doubles up as a place to see what you have and see your footage and also the timeline, what you're editing. So that's that. And <clears throat> this is, so here, um, yeah, that's, that, that will be, if you import any media, no, so if you. Oh. That's editing. They're all in what, sorry? They're not on timeline. Oh, in story mode. Story. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. If, is it, if everyone wants to click on this menu here, the main menu, okay. top, top, top left, right up, right up there, that button there, and if you click on settings, settings at the bottom, and if you click on <coughs> timeline mode, the storyboard mode, it might default to that. That's that's a bit, yeah. Click, click on that one. Yeah. Okay. Storyboard mode's um, a bit too basic. <laughs> yeah. St yeah. Yeah. Put it on timeline mode. Yeah. Make sure it's on timeline. Yeah. And save changes at the bottom. Yeah. Um, storyboard mode only gives you one track to work with, so you can uh, at the bottom. Hmm? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that's good. Right. Yep. Right, okay. So is everyone in this mode now with multiple multiple tracks, basically? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it does that, doesn't it? Yeah. If you've got if you've got a blue Oh, you want everyone to delete that really. Um okay, uh, yeah, it's settings. You can just click timeline mode there actually. Oh, okay. And then if there's a blue bar in the in the timeline, can you just select it and delete it? So just select that blue bar. Yeah, just click on it. Actually, you can just hit delete. Yeah. yeah. It's because it, it, it's it if if you switch from storyboard mode to timeline mode, storyboard mode automatically puts a piece of footage in, and we don't want that. So that's what it is. Okay. So if you've got a blue bar here at the moment, just delete it. Don't don't worry about it. Um, so this is where you um, upload your footage. If we were to have footage, we would up, we've already uploaded all your footage from yesterday to the shared folder here. So if you click on shared, and we've got, we've got sort of um, f uh, footage for our workshop, which we're just going to use now as, a, as examples, basically. But then if you go down, you've got, say, here's yours, John. So we've got all your footage there. Yeah. So that's that's a shared shared folder where we can all we can all see that. Um, so, so to upload a piece of footage, if you if you were to say be in your my the my media folder is just footage you'd see as you know if you, your own footage basically. I'm just going to upload a, a piece of footage for you to see. So you just click upload, browse to select. There's something on the desktop. There you go. There's a, an image. It's really that easy. We just that's that's how easy it is. <laughs> where does it put it when you upload it? Has it got like a root folder that it puts it in? Um, on the on the actual Wii video, it's simplified on the CADARM website. If you go to the Wii, you can go to your manage your account on the CADARM website, mm -hmm. and you can log into Wii Video separately, and there you can organise your footage. But for this, we. we we don't really need to organise it. We video kind of just looks after it all for us. So, yeah. Does it convert as you upload? Just no, keeps it as it is, and, and it'll it'll just it when you it yeah media, yeah it'll just put it in yeah, it my, my media. media yeah. Yeah. Um, so there we go. It'll, it'll just appear there once you've uploaded anything. Basically, my media it'll just appear there. So if you want to click on the under oh project media that's don't worry about that. That's if you're working with other people in, in, on a collaborative project. Um, that, that's not really rele relevant to what we're doing at the moment. So if you click on the workshop folder here, and you can play footage here. So you can view stuff. So if you just play there, press play on that, you know, on the, on the piece of footage there, you'll see it appear over there. And likewise, if you want to scroll down to one of your folders, I'll just make it full screen so again, sorry. Oh, I haven't plugged audio in. Let me just plug the audio in. <coughs> right. Okay, so we've done uploading, yep. So if you want to drag a piece of footage onto the timeline, onto the main track here, um, if we go to, sorry, uh, workshop, can everyone see workshop? Yeah. And if you click and hold on the CADARN logo and you drag it onto the main, the main track there, so you click and hold and drag and drop onto the main track here where it says where it says main on the left, so that's the main track. Why don't you ask something to uh, hey? I'm not trying to get dead, it's gone right across the screen. Ah, I'll tell you about that now. There's a zoom in and out here. Um, so you zoom in and out there at the bottom. That's it. I, I just want to make everyone aware that's a good point. Down here, right at the bottom, there's a zoom in and out <coughs> slider and minus and plus buttons. So you, got, you can, so if, if the, um, yeah, 
Yes, seconds, one minute there. Yeah. So, so if this appears to be going all the way all the way along there, that means you've zoomed in quite a lot. I'll I'll show you what it looked like. So, so there you go. It's just, uh, you zoom in and out basically. And this green green uh, bar going down here, you can click and drag that to move it along. So that basically, what you see up here is where is the, is where this is on the timeline. So if I click and drag. That basically represents where you are on the timeline. And spacebar, um, did did you do you have a handout with all the Wii video shortcuts? Yeah. Ah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> spacebar is play and stop. These are shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts for Wii video. Makes it faster. Makes it better. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to make sure you're in the full screen mode by clicking this button here. Uh, that button, that button there, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it tends to jump between the two. Yeah. Oh, right. right, yeah, no worries. <laughs> So if you drag, drag, um, go to workshop and drag. Let's click on the workshop, and then if you click and hold and drag, yeah, and onto the main track there, down there, the one below it. Well, uh, there, this one there, where it says yeah, main. So just, just there. That's it. Yep. Yep. That's perfect. And now you can, you can press spacebar. And th this is your timeline, oh, so, yeah. oh, so that whatever you this is this is where you edit your footage, basically. So. <laughs> yeah, and spacebar again to stop. Would you press stop? stop? Spacebar to start and stop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, hover over the the timeline. Not. That's it. Yeah. When, when the that's it there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And below it, you can see the audio. You've already expanded the audio there. So just click on that arrow there to make that. Um, oh, sorry. No, click on the little audio. That one. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so has everyone got, everyone got the Cadan logo on the timeline? Yeah. <laughs> so you'll notice that there's quite a lot of white footage at the end of it. So there's nothing much going on at the very end of it. So what we want to do there is cut that. So we want to cut it off. So there's, there's multiple ways of doing that. What, the best way to do it really is to position the playhead somewhere near the end where there's just plain white footage. So there's nothing going on. So if you put the playhead there, and you can either click, there's a little pair of scissors actually on the playhead, and there's also one on this window here. So where, wherever you put that green playhead and you press the scissor tool, it will cut whatever clip you have selected into two. So I'm going to cut that there now just by clicking on the scissor icon here. And now we've got, we've got basically just created a little edit there the, the end piece of footage where it's white, we don't want that, so you can just select it and then just press delete on your keyboard. <coughs> There's, or backspace, delete backspace, it's the same thing really. There's, <coughs> con con control Z is undo, yeah, yeah. Standard, yeah. Um. <laughs> Is there a rule of thumb about how much time you want when something's finished? So you obviously it's 
Kadam um yeah it's kind of just kind of how you what you feel is good really okay. once you start building footage up you'll sort of you sort of get an idea of the pacing and it's just just whatever you feel is right <laughs> yeah so is everyone sort of cut that right great if you if you notice when you've got that when you've got this this piece of footage selected You'll, you'll see that you've um, also got this blue bar on, on the uh, monitor. So if you select the, um, select the uh, CADARN footage, click, click on it. Yeah. So if you cl actually, actually click on there. Yeah, you have to click on it you have to select the footage. Um, well, you have to actually click on the piece of footage. That's it. Yeah. 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 Hmm? I didn't get the footage. I just didn't get the voice. Um, it's just done. Yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. <laughs> but you get the playing back here. No. So no playing back here. That's fine. That's okay. fine. Yeah. How, how do you select this one? You just click on it. I just click, click on it. Oh. Yeah, and then press space to start and stop. Um, I'll just um, make that high levels because you've already got this. <laughs> I'll go into that later. So to, to delete the end, you just select it and press delete, oh. and then. So you can also edit with these blue bars here. I'm just about to talk about this. So you can you can edit the length of a clip. So you can cut the end off a clip with these blue bars here. But I'm just going to talk about that now. Yeah. Okay. So another way of cutting is with these, this blue bar here. So you can actually click on these arrows once you've got a piece of footage selected and drag these arrows from left to right, and that will cut the end off. And I've already cut the end off this piece of footage, so, that, so the, the arrows there are already a little bit that way. Um, that, that basically shows the extent of the complete piece of footage. And when, when you've edited it at all, it'll... It'll show a bit of white space at the end, or at the, yeah, at the end basically. <coughs> so that's multiple ways of cutting it. Um, there's there's another way of cutting it, <laughs> which is the shortcut. Wherever you position this, rather than pressing the scissor tool, you can just press S on your keyboard, which which is the S. shortcut. S is the shortcut for split. I always call it cut, but we video likes to call it split. It's the same thing. Um, so you can just select a piece of footage and press S, and then it does it. it now I've got this end piece of footage selected, so it's 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 got a it's, it's sort of showing the showing it there in the with the blue bars. Um, and Control Z or com yeah Control Z or Command Z if you're on a Mac is undo. So I'm just going to undo that. Now, there's, there's, the di there's, there's sort of differences between your main track here and video one. You can add tracks here by clicking on the plus. So you can add multiple tracks here. So if you just click on the plus icon here, and you'll get this up, add new track, and you can it'll, and you just click OK. And then you've got a third track. Also, if you drag pieces of footage and just hover over the top, it will automatically, automatically add a track. <clears throat> so a new track? Yeah, new track. Because so, you, you often want to build video up in layers sometimes. Uh, so you want to overlay other pieces of footage. Um, Does main have any precedent? Or is just that, yes. Is that a label to help you? Or? No, it does have a difference. Um, the difference between the main track and the other tracks is the main track is gapless. So. Okay. It will automatically shunt footage together. Whereas on the video one, two, whatever it was, you can put it wherever you want. Yeah, yeah. The the other thing is, um, you've got this. We're not we weren't really going to go into it, but you've got this themes button at the top, and um, it's got a lot of sort of ready-made themes and effects that, you know, it's, they're not great really. So they only apply to the main track. Um, 
you can play around with them, but we, we, we don't really want to sort of encourage them. Because <laughs> you, know, you have more control when you do it yourself. Um, so that's the difference between the main track and those, is you, you won't have any gaps occurring on the main track. So if you, say if you drag, drag another piece of footage behind the Cadarn logo and drop it onto the main track, it'll automatically snap so there's no gap. Whereas on these tracks, you can just position it wherever you want. <laughs> yeah. 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 Main track is well where it says main basically. Yeah. Um, and then. If we add multiple videos, mm -hmm. video one, video two, is the video one the layer one, video two, layer two? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So it's that basically yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 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 It's kind of flexible, you can do it however you want, but you know, yeah. Um, oh, so you got yeah, the vegetable, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll go on to that in a bit, um, yeah. Okay. So let's, let's actually, let's position that, that piece of footage behind the Cadon logo, so the one of Graham. So if everyone, if you've, if you've put the, the vegetables there, uh, just select the vegetables and delete it. Or it doesn't matter, you can leave it there for now. It's, yeah, you can leave it. <laughs> Another useful thing I want to point out is markers on the timeline. So you can say if you say if you want to um, um, say if you want to I don't know place a marker along here for whatever reason like you might think to yourself I want to change I want to add a piece of footage here and then another piece of footage there you can you can use markers it, all it is basically is just it's literally just a marker you can wherever you put the playhead just press M and it'll drop a little orange icon there and you. You can press play, and you can keep pressing M on the keyboard, and it'll drop another marker. They're just quite useful if you want to add notes. So you can click on the marker, and then you can type notes in here. And you can change the type of marker if you want to. So you can lock, you can lock the markers to the clip. So that, just press M, M on your keyboard, where, wherever, wherever the playhead is, it will add a marker. Um, but that, that's, you don't, you don't really need to worry about markers, that's sort of if you get a bit more, you know, advanced. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, can, you can edit without markers, so. <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do now is we've got this Cadarn logo, and then it goes from white straight to this piece of footage. And um, it might be good to fade to black and then fade the footage in. So we do that with transitions. Um, and up here, you've got this <coughs> bar here. So you've got transitions are there, you've got text there, and um, you've got effects and uh, other pieces of video footage there that are ready made by Wii Video. And you've got audio there, so you've got sound effects and free music you can use. Um, so if you click on, click on the uh, transitions for now, which is there, and there's understand that you only really need to use the transitions under standard, so you've got um, <coughs> just, you've got cross dissolve here at the top, which is your sort of probably your most used uh, transition. And then if you scroll down here with your, uh, with your mouse wheel or with the slider bar, you'll see um, uh, dip to black. That's really useful as well. And you can preview them. So it'll, if you press play, it'll, it'll show you what it's going to look, you know, what, it, what it's going to look like. Um, dip to black does exactly what it says. It just f 
fades from one piece of footage to black to another piece of footage. <clears throat> so what do you do? Yeah, you just drag them in between the two pieces of clip. Uh, two, sorry, the two clips. There's. Um, <clears throat> I'll just show you what, what happens when you um, drag a crossfade between the two. So if you drag a crossfade between these two pieces of footage, you can see it there. That's, that's the uh, transition. And we don't really want a crossfade from white to the footage. What would be nice is to add a title. Fade to black, then add a title, then fade to the piece of footage. So I'll show you how to do that. So, uh, sorry. Oh. As you were saying earlier, basically yep. you're telling us don't use any of those other fancy effects and they just do it with your editing as opposed to work, working with the software. Yeah. It's funny because th these, <coughs> all these fancy, um, fancy transitions, you never really see them in any professional. You never see it on the telly unless it's something really cheesy. <laughs> it's, yeah. You can. You, they're sometimes useful if you want to apply a transition to just a line or something like that. You say if you want a line to go to appear here, just a thin line to do that across the screen and then have a title fade in, you could use a transition on just that. They're useful then, but otherwise on, on actual pieces of video footage, it's best not to... No, nah, nah. it's best to avoid them really. Um, but <clears throat> You can you fade to black then cross dissolve. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Oh. A fade to black after your CAD done. Yeah. After your CAD done introduction. Yeah. I think that's what you were yeah. suggesting. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. you need a sort of fade into the new action places there because you don't want to just talk. No. No. So I I'll show you how, how to do that now. If we um yeah, if we what we can do now is um Fade from the Cadon logo to black, add a title, and then fade, fade back from the title will be overlaid onto black background on a black black background, and then we'll fade from that to the video footage. So I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm just going to delete this transition I've just added there. You just select it and delete it. If you've added a transition, you just click on it and hit delete. Yeah. So, yeah, there's all these other fancy transitions, but we're going to ignore them because they're, <laughs> they're a bit crazy. <laughs> um, if you click on the um, graphics tab here, again, you've got lots of interesting pieces of video footage. Some of them are quite useful. Some of them are all right. Some of them are not so good. So these are just ready-made pieces of video footage that you can use. <laughs> yeah. But what, what is useful is the solids tab here because you've literally just got colors. So you can, it's just like a piece of, it's just, a, it's just a solid piece of video footage, just a single color. So we're going to, if you click and hold on the, on the black and drag it in between, oh, I need, to, I need to zoom out here. Oh, no. I need to zoom out because I can't see my edit point. Where's, there's my, oh, there's my edit point. So if you click and hold on the drag on the, on the black, sorry, and drag it between, yeah, yeah, up, up on graphics and then solids. Has everyone got that? Yeah, solids. Yeah, and then click and drag the black footage in between the Cadon logo and the other piece of video footage, and then just drop it. Like that. So now it will go from the Cadon logo to black, and then the other piece of video footage. Yeah. So now, now we can go back to the transitions. <laughs> Actually, whilst we're here. I might just edit that bit off. Yeah. I'm just going to split that there and delete that bit. There we go. <laughs> but to fade from these two, we can just add a, a cross fade from the Cadon logo to black, and then another cross fade 
from the black to the other piece of footage. And now it'll go from the Cadan logo to black. And it gives us a space to add a title there, and then it'll fade in. Um, I think because I was fiddling around with the fades before we did. White white boxes? Ah. Oh, it's gone now. Oh that's that's fine, yeah. That's okay. And then transitions. And if we add a transition there and another one there. And then we, then it'll fade from the logo to black to the footage. And then we're gonna insert a title above that, just there. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Um, just zoom out, zoom out a bit. Um, oh yeah, yeah, let's rearrange it. That's okay. Just um, click, oh, click and hold on that, on that piece of footage. I'll stop that first. Well, maybe you could control Z that actually. Drag, drag, drag. Uh, that's fine. Just put it over to. Uh, well, we we'll keep everything on the main for now. Oh. So what, what does that win? Um, it, it does rearrange things. You have to be sort of careful where you place everything because it does like to rearrange yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. That's right. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then if you drag, um, if you go to the transitions tab here, uh, yeah, and then if you click, uh, drag that between there and there. Yep. And again, and again between the black and this second piece of video footage. Yeah, I must have just, um, like you said, just sort of rearranged. Yeah. Sometimes you to the editing window. I think all of you have now this editing window. You just get this black. Sorry, I don't know. I don't think. Get the oh, I've got, well, basically you just need to add these transitions. Um, oh, that? Oh, that, don't worry about that. That's, that's just... Um, yeah, it depends on how far you've zoomed in and out. And, and once you add these, um, it's, yeah, don't worry about it. I just added the transitions. Based on the it just it just shows one frame from the footage. See, yeah. see, there's, that one's got a big white. Oh, so it's just, the zoom. So if we zoom out here, oh. so it's just one one frame from the from each clip, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so has everyone got the transitions? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we can add a title above that now on the, the black space. <coughs> so the titles are under text. And if you just click on the text tab up there, <coughs> at the top. And then again, you can preview different types of text, but so you've got end ready-made end titles if you, if you want, but um, it's easier just to create standard pieces of text, well, for the title anyway. So you can click and drag that onto video two. And that's, that's, that's going to always, whatever is at the top will always, will always um, play over footage below it. So we're going to see that above the black and above these pieces of footage. So what we want to do is edit that down to match the length of the black bit. Oh, um, I added that with the ad. V earlier on, I added um, a track. Don't worry about it. Um, it's, 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 uh, yeah. If you, um, if you drag a piece of footage and hover above the timeline, it'll automatically add a track. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we can, you can see that we've got this text now displaying. So I'm going to I'm going to trim the length of the text to match the um, to match the length of the black the black footage. So I'm going to zoom in down here, 
and then I'm going to click on the ends of this. You, you, can, you can edit the length of stuff by just clicking on the, the end, either end, and just clicking and dragging. So I'm going to make it, <clears throat> make it about the same length as this black piece of footage here, not including the fades. So let's just do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually I'll go over there to save now actually. But yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll um, do that after we've done the title. <laughs> So if you've, you've got the title added over the black bit, so now to, to edit the title, <coughs> to edit the title, you can either click on the, once it's selected, you can either click on the little pencil icon there, or there, or you can just press E on your keyboard. So you can select that piece of text and press E on the keyboard, and then you'll get the edit menu up. So the, the, edit menu, the edit menu applies to any piece of footage. So you, it brings up a new window where you have various properties to edit an individual clip. <clears throat> so here, if you want to edit the text, you just delete what it, where it says text up there and dot, dot, dot. And just delete that and type in, a, type in, type in whatever you want. <clears throat> so. Yeah. <laughs> and then, obviously, obviously, this is all kind of self-explanatory, just like Word. You can change the font and styles and justification and size and the position there. <clears throat> so 100 and 100 is, is, is centered. Um, So if you click um, Done Editing, once you've, once you've made a basic title, I just want to, I just want to explain something, that's, uh, again, that's different between the main track and video one, video two. And you can have as many of these as you want, I think, video one, two, three, four, five. The main track is the only track where you can actually add these transitions to. Um, you, can, you can create the same effect on these tracks, but you have to do it sort of manually. So the way to do it manually is to add a manual fade in. And I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that now. Um, if you select the uh, title and go back to edit, so I just press E on my keyboard, or just press the pencil. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, there we go. Or, the, or, or click on the pencil anywhere under the screen, under the monitor. Um, and if you go to the um, animation tab there at the top, and click on fade in and fade out here, select that, and then click on the advanced panel, and it shows you um, how long you can, how long you want the fade to last. So we're going to have it fade in for one second and fade out for one second. And you can preview that if you want. So you can just press, it, press play here to see what happens. And it will show you it's just going to fade in and fade out. And then if you click Done Editing, <clears throat> and once you've added anything like a fade or motion or anything like that, that way in, in the editing um, panel, you can see it here by clicking on this little arrow there. On, on any track, you've got this downward facing arrow, and it says actions. If you click on that, you can select um, show levels. 
and you can see that this little line comes up and that shows essentially what, what I've just created in the editing panel, which is the fade. So this line is edit editable. Every, anywhere there's a point, you can click and move it around. So, and you can create new points anywhere on this line by just literally clicking on the line. And the bottom, if points that are at the bottom are on zero, so if it's a piece of video footage, that means when, it, when it's at the bottom, the point there, that means it's invisible. And if it's at the top, it's, it's at 100% opacity. So it's fully visible. So that's going to fade from zero to 100. So it's going to go from invisible to visible gradually over time. And likewise with audio, you can do the same with audio. But with audio, of course, it's volume rather than its visibility. <coughs> so if you press play now, you can see that um, it fades to black. The title comes in, fades out, and then the other piece of footage fades in. <coughs> Has everyone got something similar to that? <laughs> Oh, you have to click on click on it. Well, which I did. And and show levels. Click on show levels. Yeah, and there you go. There it oh, is. Okay. Yeah, and then you can zoom in if you want to make it a bit more. How do I zoom in? Oh, down the bottom right there. Down. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's really hidden away. Oh mm. yeah. There's a little bar as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Um, yeah, sure. Click on it So that's kind of a basic edit. We're going to go on to audio now. <laughs> Once everyone's caught up. <laughs> you alright? <coughs> yeah, the fade. Well, I've yeah. got, I've done that bit because I got messed up because I came up with another clip and I was distracted when you were explaining all the advanced stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no problem. It's a little bit hard to get. I mean, that, that ba yeah, basically that's. Um, yeah, whatever's. You can drag these up and down. So, what do they um, do? Well, that's zero, so that's invisible now. So that's going to that's going to fade in now. Yeah. So it's like a graphical representation of the fade, and that's a hundred, so that's fully visible. And when you go on, when you click on edit there, you can um, and go to animation and fade in, fade out, advanced. That's going to automatically do it, sort of, for you. One second fade in, one second fade out, okay. from zero to a hundred, hundred to zero. Can you that text font? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, text. Just change that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> Something really tasteful for you there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, so, it, if you, it's yeah, you have to kind of zoom in a lot. But so that's your fade in. That's going to stay at 100. And that's going to stay fully visible there. And then it's going to fade out there. And you can also click and add points here. So you can just click and add. You can do it manually if you want. All right. So then it'll. Yeah. So if we. Um, if we. Uh, I'm going to Z. That. You can just do it manually. So you can just click there. Click there. And drag that down. And that one down. And that's the same thing, really. Once you know, as long as you've got this show, show levels, it's on high, high levels. As long as it's showing the levels, oh, that's, that's, that's what it does basically. <laughs> um, in the same way you'd add a title, you can just. Uh, so, which means the audience will see the annotation or no? Just. Uh, Oh no, that, that will, everyone will see it. 
Everyone yeah, will yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, it's just um, it's just another version of text with a bubble around it, really. Oh. Um, yeah. So uh, if I I add one, mm. and uh, because I already got the title, mm -hmm. where, where the annotation will be put? Um, well, um, I don't know really. It depends on how you what you're editing, really. I mean, that's just sort of preference. Is that I mean, a, another layer? Yeah, you could put it on another layer if you wanted to, or you could put it behind or at some other point. Um, but you're oh. going to have two titles on top of each other. So you're so going to have the... If that's I gonna just give one, uh, sentence, <laughs> one sentence introduction here, so are they going to show okay. so several okay. layers? Because I, I see here mm -hmm. there are several layers. The, the overlap. Oh, well, those, those, those are um, sort of separate pieces of video footage that are ready-made. And you can you can add them, but <coughs> we're not really working with those because they're sort of ready-made pieces of footage. Oh, okay. um, So can, uh, if I put here, I mean, if yeah. you want to edit it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it. Uh, introduction. If I put. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It works in the same way as a title. But it's where uh, can we change the position? Yes. Yeah. So. The position in? Do you mean in time, or do you mean in, actually on the screen? On the screen. Oh yeah. If you just if you just click on 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 there again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> space. Yeah. And click on the edit again. And if you go to. Drag. Yeah, you can, you can just move it around like that. Oh. Yeah. You can you can also do it over time. So you can here you can you can you you can manually type in the position there. And you yeah. can scale it as well there with the scale. Oh, I see. Yeah, but we'll we'll go over animation in a bit. We'll we'll create a zoom in 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 a while. So, so we don't use the we don't use the overlay you mentioned. Ah oh, well, the overlays are um again it's just another it's it's ready-made pieces of footage as you can see. Um, uh, and basically, if you drag it on top of another piece of footage, you'll probably be able to see the footage below with that on top. Uh, if we so it's just an effect, really. It's just like a ready-made effect. But if we try to get the background and um, for one um, movie and uh, one presenter in front of it, so we just use video one, video two, video three, mm -hmm. in this different layers to yes. show the yeah. audience. Yeah, whatever, whatever is at the top has priority. So whatever you place on video two or three yeah. will, will go over what is below it. Oh, so whatever is at the top there will be shown over that yeah. one, and that one will be shown over that one. Oh, so similar yeah. like this yeah. one. Yeah. We, we, we get a skull actually in front of the mm. presenter. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> So, if everyone's ready, we can go on to talking about audio. Yeah. If you click on um, five minutes, oh, really five minutes. Okay. If you click on this um, little icon here, you can. It shows the um, audio. It's it's. <coughs> It shows the audio of any piece of uh, footage you have. So if you select the CADARN logo, click on that icon there, you'll see the audio waveform as represented as a waveform. So you can see where the audio is. And likewise, we've got audio on this piece of video footage here. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... <coughs> So what I'm going to do now is take in take a take the good quality piece of audio that we've that we recorded onto the Zoom for well that Graham recorded onto the Zoom, yeah. and basically turn this audio off, put a good piece of audio here, the higher quality piece of audio, um, and synchronise it with that piece of audio. I hope anyway. I hope I can do it. Um, 
Yeah. 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 I'll just show you roughly how to do it because we're sort of running out of time, so I'll have to show you quickly. <coughs> so, so I'm going to go back to the workshop. I've all, Lizzie's already prepared this for me. With the, she already uploaded the, the right piece of footage for me, so that saved me some time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to drag it below. Yeah, workshop, and then it's um, Zoom 0003, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to add it to audio one down here below it. And you can see that it's totally, totally different. It appears different. Um, so basically, all we have to do is line up this wave, these two waveforms together so that they look the same, basically. Um, so it's a case of looking. This is why it's good if you, when you're recording on two devices, it's good to make a sharp sound like a clap. Because then you get a really obvious peak on both, both the recordings. So it gives you a cue. It gives you a marker to line up the two pieces is, of audio. Is the top one cut or is it compressed? Um, <clears throat> the top one is... Um, you, what, what probably happened is you started recording on the Zoom before. Yeah. Then you hit record on here. So you, this is a lot longer than that one. So and you've got a lot of excess footage. Well. Right, okay. Yeah, well, so okay. the audio is just left on for the three takes. So yeah. We'll have a bit okay. So it's going to be really hard to do this, I think. Um, it might take me ages. Um, I'll see. I'll see if I can do it. Oh, I can see. Yeah. I can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to just trim the start of this off because I can see already that this waveform matches no, no, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a bit more. Hmm. Are you sure these match, Lizzie? Has he? Yeah, There we go. So you can hear there's an echo. It is tricky because they. It's tricky because they still look different. Because obviously they're recorded at different volumes each device. But if you look for like, if you look for really obvious points like there, there, and there, you can sort of start matching things up. And then once you've got it roughly aligned, you you. You just position it in the right place, and then you can hear there's an echo because I've got it slightly out of sync. So then, then it's a case of zooming right in, really far, as a lot, so you can really see the detail of the waveform. And then you can line up the the peaks and the troughs. Those those are called the peaks. The dips are the, called the troughs in audio terms. It's just. Still echoing a bit. Oh. Well, that's good enough for now. I could spend ages getting it perfectly aligned, but it's basically a case of zooming in. Yeah. Yeah. You have to get it exactly exactly on. Yeah. So that's the reason why the clap. Yeah, the clap's good because it makes it easy. But um yeah. 
And then, <laughs> and then once you've got it aligned, once you've got it roughly aligned like that, then you can trim this, this higher quality audio to match the length of So it's, it's quite a lot to take in, I know, but I'll just split it there roughly. And then you can go back to edit and turn this audio off on this track. You go up here, and then you can go to audio and mute. Done. It's back in, back in ed edit. Sorry, I'm rushing through things now, because, yeah. Click on edit, and then you've got this little. So you can mute audio for any track. <laughs> um, well, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Um, now, now you've got it trimmed. Yeah, you've got it roughly aligned. That's that's great. So now, if you select this piece of footage, because we've got high quality audio there, low quality audio there, so you can select that and then go to the edit. Oh, right. Okay. Um, and then you can just click on the little speaker icon, and then select mute, and it will just mute it for that track. Sorry, I rushed through that bit. I, I, uh... Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> All right, good point. Very good point. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. It should be. Um, up here, where it says untitled, you can click on it and give it a name. So. Uh, you know, call it whatever you want. I'm just okay, click OK. <coughs> So it just says like any normal piece of software, software there. Um, you can also, up here, you've also got a, like a, a, the normal main menu where you can click, again, you can click save here. So you've got save, and you've got save a copy below it. Well, it saves it to Wii Video. Um, oh. Yeah, it saves it to your, um, you won't see it under My Media. You'll see it on the Cadarm website. Um, we set it up so that <laughs> so that you can see it on the Cadarm website. <laughs> the what? Sorry. It's tricky to do. Yeah. Um, we can. We can. I can show you how to. They look different. Yeah. Um, it is hard to do. Uh, No, it's not there, is it? Where is it? Oops. Mm. Um. Yeah. It's around locking them together so you don't move them back. So Unfortunately, not in Wii Video. There is, there is, there's not a way of syncing them in Wii Video, uh, sorry, locking them. But what you can do is you can turn on, it's called Ripple Edit. So when it's the, I'll show you, I'll show you over here so I'll show everyone. <laughs> um, so once you've, um, once you've got something synced like this, unfortunately they're not locked together, so you have to move them. That's why it's a good idea to trim them so they're exactly the same length, so that when you move one, you can move the other one and line it up again. If you have this on here, it's, it's called ripple edit there. When you um, insert a piece of footage, it will automatically shunt everything along. So it will it'll sort of keep them locked together. But um, 
it, that is a real limitation of Wii Video, unfortunately, the, the fact that you can't lock multiple tracks together. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. Back to it. Um, we've 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 set it up so that you can see things. If you refresh this page, you'll be able you'll be able to see things here. Um, you might have to refresh your browser. Uh, you scroll up a bit. Maybe scroll up a bit. And that, that's it there. Mm. Does it open in Wii Video or what? Yeah, it'll just open in Wii Video. Yeah. If you click on it. So I'll just save I'll just save my project again and show everyone. So we've saved it. You can also make a copy. Oh, let's see. So you can make a copy of your, your say if you've progressed down, down an edit and you've made a load of changes and then you're going to do something drastic and you want to make a copy, you can just make a copy of it there. And you can call it like version 2 or something. You've also got an automatic revisions. Um, you can see you've got a history of everything you've done there. So revisions is a bit like, um, it's the same way. As you know, it's like on Dropbox and things like that. You have revisions of every every document you've got, it's similar, basically. It automatically saves a history of, of, of all the changes you've done. Every time, as long as you've saved it already, then you'll have a history of, of, of all the edits you've done. Um, just one, one thing I want to show you, now we've saved it, because we've, we've done syncing sound, well, well I've done it as, um, well, I haven't got any more time to go over syncing sound. Sorry? I've saved it, the music channel. The muted channel. Ah, oh, it's it's you've you've reloaded it. It's okay. I think it's just um it's just minimised the um it's just that yeah it's it's just hiding the waveform. Um, I just want to show you how to zoom in on a piece of video footage, like create a zoom. What was it called? Ken Burns or something? Ken Burns. Yeah. Um, or do you think we got time or not? We we should be going for coffee break now. Um, okay. Okay, we can, we can, yeah, yeah, okay. And when you come back to the break, we'll, um, we'll, um, see what you want to do. Yeah. Matt, Matt still has lots to tell you about Wii Video. Um, it's all a bit much. It's easy enough <laughs> to, to discover maybe on your own, or we yeah. could just keep going with Wii Video and scrap, um, me talking about, uh, sound materials, which is what usually happens. Absolutely. <laughs> But yeah, we'll, we'll go for a break now in room three or four. Is it three or four? And uh, we'll...